I was looking on eBay the other day and I came across this little kit for a few uh, pence and uh, I was quite excited about that because it's a uh, little kit that becomes a small insect. Now a while ago I um, used to make these little um, insects myself out of old electronic um, components. They never didn't actually do anything but it was almost like a little bit of art that I used to do. I did make some robotic ones as well that used to move but uh, this is the only one that I've got at the moment. Just a little bug like that. So then when I found this kit and this is what I found. It was a mobile phone sensing bug and uh, I just had to have it for a few pence um, to make one of these little things. So I'm going to make it now and it shouldn't take me this long that long there's no instructions with it but uh hopefully i can work it out from this picture from the motherboard well from the circuit board so what does it comprise of well it's just got some little signal diodes there um which become the little beast's legs it's got an led which i assume will flash when we put a mobile phone close to it um, the circuit board, shaped like a little beastie, quite nice on both sides. Um, and then some really small little um, copper wire, which is its, I don't know whether that's the aerial, the sensor, but that becomes its, um, its antennae. I think to begin with this is going to need to be cut in half so I'm just going to do that straight away because um, that will go on to in fact I won't do it I'll solder it on and then I'll try and cut it that goes onto there and I'll cut that um, after afterwards to get the length all right so looking at this again from chip partner um, it looks like the um, most of the pads on the board go on the top um, and then the diodes all connect side by side. Now it looks on the diodes as if the negative of the diode goes to the outside of the board in each occasion. So I might solder all of the negatives on first. I don't know. There's only a few components. Well, it's going to be a bit fiddly, I think. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll be more careful taking these apart than I normally would because I need to use the whole length of the wires, the leads. And I'll have to see how to how I'm gonna make this look neat. You know, I think actually the best thing that's gonna do is for me to bend all of these first, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna bring my helping hands in here. If I need to use this bit to hold the board. Um, and it looks like, hmm. yeah, it does say on here, it does have plus and minus. So all the ones on the inside are pluses and the outside leads are minus, which uh, is what the looks like on the other picture as well. So I'm just trying to establish which is the best way to hold this when I'm doing it. Oops, maybe it's like that so I can see both sides of the board so let's do that um, I'll solder with that side all right so here we go let's try the first one so the black goes to the outside And I've got to make sure I get them all in with the same amount of lead. Right. So 
I'm looking at this side of the board here to try and work out how much legs are sticking out to try and get it um, equal each time. So here goes. Should be relatively easy. No, <laughs> can't get to it. Let's turn him over a bit. There you go. I think this is going to be intensely fiddly. All right, that one's gone in. Next one. Now really this is going to be the same for all of these so I'm just going to fast forward to save you uh, having to be bothered about every single one of these because it's going to take me a while to do exactly the same thing on every one. So see you in the future. Okay, so spot the deliberate mistake again. I've got the uh, all of the um, diodes in the right way round, but just for the fun of it, I've put them on the wrong side of the board. So I think that'll be all right. Shouldn't make any difference. I did think about bending them out a little bit, but uh, and bending them to the other side but I think for this one I've got a few more of these anyway I'm just going to leave this one as is so I'm just going to bend these out a bit to give him some legs to stand on without letting the lead short now I assume the um, signal of the phone comes from these little diodes here and that's how it works that looks quite cute. There you go. Strange, strange little bug. All right, so it looks like I've got some more. No, I've got one more diode left. So, oh yeah, so there's one more diode in the middle just behind its head and then there's what's probably the there's the LED the other side so let's do just do the uh, this one more diode that I missed because it was hiding somewhere and make sure after all that I put this in the right way around so um, positive for this one is here so the negative bar has got to go in there all right so it's a bit harder to get to now this one In he goes. Easier said than done. All right, so I can just about see that. Looks like he's got a middle foot as well. What is these eight other feet? All right, so hopefully that's a 
that's the last one in. Now they're bound to have done this one the wrong way around, so let me just check again. Um, right, okay, that is the right way around. So I don't know where that should be. Let's just put him out like that. Actually, I'll put him out of the way. The next thing I'm going to do is put this other wire on. So I'm going to tin his little antennas here. Now that, let's clamp him up again. On his buttocks. There you go. Do little insects have buttocks? Probably not. They have orifices for things to come out, don't they? But whether they have buttocks or not, who knows. I'm going to edit that bit out. This is a really small piece of um, covered wire, enamel covered wire, very fiddly. So let's pop the ends of it have had the, you know, that's not very good. Let me tin it. The ends of it have had the insulation scraped off, but the other one it's going to need a little bit of careful footling get it neat I shouldn't have done this like this I should have cut it into two to begin with but anyway there you go um, blob him on there. Okay, and I will now cut that in what hopefully is the middle. There you go, that's given him some real antennas for his antennas. All right, then finally, um, I'm going to push out that one. Finally, I've got to do the LED and the positive and minus as always. Long lead is positive. I'm not going to be able to get in to cut this, so um, I'm going to solder it from this side, I think. I'm going to be a little bit of a, oops, no, I thought that might happen. Uh, let's clamp him up. And I'm going to solder one, top one that I can get to, so I solder the positive one. Let that set. Then level him up a bit. Now I can do, should be able to do the other one. The other side of that. And there he is. Another addition to my army killer insects. A little bit fiddly to do. I bought several of these packets. They were a little bit over a pound, several of these kits. I suppose I should test them, but uh, I don't have a mobile phone signaling that I'm not using for my um, to record this. So I might try that and record it another way. But a uh, cute little kit. Just one more thing, sorry about the clickbait at the start of this, saying it was a mobile phone bug. Um, it is a bug. It looks like a bug, um, just like that is. But really, I bought it for the aesthetics of it looking like a bug. But the idea is that uh, it's got a series of diodes that are all arranged in series. These are uh, around, around the edges, its legs and when it comes close to a GSM mobile signal, it obviously 
picks up some of that signal and the diodes uh, turn it into a very little bit of current that will light a LED, an LED. And uh, I was hoping to demonstrate this with my old HTC's phone and uh, it basically the instructions say put it really close to uh, the phone like that and when you make a call the uh, LED will light up. Uh, but that's not going to happen with modern phones because most of their modern phones are CDMA phones not the old style GSM. I think it might be because the GSMs are um, running on a, a lower a frequency um, whereas the um, CDMA, the modern phones, um, I think that's CDMA, uh, run at a, um, a higher frequency which the LEDs, which the signal diodes don't pick up. And uh, I can't demonstrate it on my old HTC because when I got it out I noticed it had got fat battery syndrome and, uh, and there's no way that that was going to turn on again. But anyway, sorry for the clickbait, but it is a bug that looks like um, and it that might work with a mobile phone, but it is not a spy device.